Next into the tank, an entrepreneur set to revolutionise recruiting. Some people have said I could be a bit of a shark coming into the shark tank. I'm feeling quite confident. <laughs> Hey Sharks, my name's Alex. Before we get started, we're gonna do a little bit of a demo. And I'm gonna need two volunteers. Andrew, okay, one for you. Thank you. Alex, right? Yes, Alex. Hi, Alex. Hi. Oh. Janine. I thought volunteer means you just got volunteers. Yeah, you just got volunteers. Well, it was kind of volunteers. Oh my God, this looks like a lot of resumes. It does. Hey, it takes you back to the old days? It takes me back to the old days. I used to throw them on the floor, A, B, C. A was definitely interview, B was maybe, C, get, get out of here. Well, you're gonna love this. Small businesses face this problem. Every single time they wanna hire someone, they have to sort through two million applications and resumes every single week. We believe there's a better way. I'm going to introduce you guys today to iRecruit. It's the first automated applicant ranking technology in the world. We're raising $200,000 for 2.2%. I'm sorry? $200,000 for 2.2%. 2.2. 200. OK. Yes. All right. I just need to check my computer. <laughs> it's a There we go. Thanks, Andrew. Did you get that? <laughs> OK. OK, you ready? So let's go back to this. OK, keep going. The opportunity I'm presenting today, guys, does this process automatically. Imagine if we could take all the important information, so not just skills and experience, but the real stuff, so personality, behaviour, their values, what they're naturally good at, and use smart algorithms to measure that and instead of getting a pile of resumes or a million applications, you simply got a list of candidates ranked, sorted, in order of your preference and in order of job fit that you can then just connect with. Because we act as the funnel at the end of it, so all applications flow through us. OK, you whack it through your magic funnel, so then what happens? So then the employer has the ability to connect with the ones that match the preferences best. You bring your top five, six, seven in. So we're the world's first applicant ranking technology that takes behavioural science, personality profiling, skills, experience, demographics and all of it, and we automate the process. So you're talking about the holy grail. How does your business make money today? Tell us how it works. So the way the business, it's a simple service as a software model. So we give it to employers for as little as 50 bucks a month and they get that on the other end and they connect. So it's free to candidates, Subscription model, $50 a month. Starting from. How many customers do you have right now? We've got 300 sitting on the books. So you have 300 users out there, people actually logging on and trying to use it? No, we're in a closed alpha at the moment. Who's using the system at the moment? We've got five people that we're alpha testing it with. Five, so that's not 300, it. that's five. No, but Are they paying you money? Absolutely not, because service, software, needs to have the right product market fit, and that takes time to develop. So how many employees have gained employment because they came through the funnel and popped out the bottom? We're doing more versions of it. So no one's got a job? Not yet. No, no. Listen, I've done a few interviews in my time. You realise that in order to really validate behavioural testing, you've got to take your existing successful employees and benchmark them. And even then, there's huge subjectivity. So if a small employers just tapping into your database has never assessed anyone before, the ranking means nothing. So what we're doing is we're helping, so we give the employers a structured process in which to create that ideal candidate. So what we're doing is instead of selling them to just write a job description, we take them through a process. So you've had good results from these tests? Absolutely. Alex, tell us about your past, because if I'm investing in the business, uh, I'm investing in you. I've been in business for 10 years myself, believe it or not. I don't look like it. You, you're how old? 29. Tell us about the most successful things you've done to date. This is a long story. <laughs> well, no, just tell us the highlights, the successful ones. I dropped out of uni when I was 19, and I put my scholarship money on the stock market. Made my first fortune there, then I lost everything in 2007. 
I started again and by the time I was 22, I made my first million. Um, I built that up through a series of different businesses. So Alex, you're a pretty smooth customer, aren't you? Thank you. How many other businesses have you had? Eight. Eight, right. So that in your adult working life means you stick at something for about one year and a bit. If you average it out that way, but when you're running four at once, then average it out a little bit differently. Okay, and what was the outcome for the investors? Good in some cases. And in some cases, not so good. How much has been spent so far? We've spent about 450. So you spent 450K. So how long have you been doing this for, Alex? Uh, a year and a half now. So you've been going a year and a half, yep. and you've got five people to maybe use it. We don't have five Does, does the concept of lean startup mean anything to you at all? Absolutely. This is what we're doing. So we're doing product market fit. I'm sure you've heard of that, right? <laughs> okay. I have heard of that. 18 months is not lean startup. You don't spend 450,000 bucks over 18 months to have five people maybe using it to not understand if people want to use it and pay you money. You're a long way in for no results. For, for honestly, a rude valuation. Oh, was it nine million bucks? I don't bother to work it out. I need to see in the next minute something, something really quite solid. Otherwise, it's over. Alex is pitching his recruiting business. I recruit. It's the first automated applicant ranking technology in the world. But with a massive $9 million valuation, he's finding it a tough sell to the sharks. So does the concept of lean startup mean anything to you at all? Absolutely. This is what we're doing. So we're doing product market fit. I'm sure you've heard of that, right? OK, I have heard of that. 18 months is not lean startup. You don't spend 450000 bucks over 18 months to have five people maybe using it to not understand if people want to use it and pay you money. You're a long way in for no results. For, for honestly, a rude valuation. Oh, was it nine million bucks? I don't bother to work it out. I need to see in the next minute something, something really quite solid. Otherwise, it's over. Tell me what's solid, what does solid no, mean No, it's you? your bloody business, not mine. I'm not going to pitch your business to you. You don't need to. So over the last four months, we released the first version of the product four months ago. So it's... So you, you've got you... four, pe five people using it. You haven't sold it once. You can't have released it. It's, so if you have released it, you've got one person a month. Alex, the level of acumen you haven't displayed today is positively scary. I'm out. I appreciate that, Steve. So, this, so just for clarity, just so we don't get this wrong, you have no other partners? We've got investors. Minimum amount was 100 grand. What else hasn't we been told? We've just raised a million. Oh, you've raised a million? Absolutely. And we start generating revenue next month. Right. And how many customers do you need to pay back your investors? What do you mean by payback? Ah, that's because it's never happened. So investors have so far put in $1 million? Correct. So we're looking for a multiple. So what we're looking is an 18 to 24 month exit. So you're only building it to flip it anyway. You don't really want to solve this problem. No, we'll give it to someone who can solve it on a grander scale. Thank you for coming. I'm out. Thank you. Um, you, um, you, you, you're scary because you're not passionate about this. This is a flip for you. You want to build it, flip it, get on to the next thing. You're, you're about the next shiny thing that comes through. I wouldn't say shiny, but... All right. He's not great at listening, Janine. No. I'm listening, OK. Mate, I'm out. So, you know, at a $9 million valuation, it's, it's a huge punt. You don't have a track record of running successful businesses where the investor actually gets their money back. I do. No, you don't. Listen. Come back when you've got a whole bunch of happy employers who've hired people through your system and they've stayed at least three, six, nine months and everyone's doing well. Until then, I'm out. Thank you. You've got to come in here and stay humble because we are humble people, believe it or not. And you've got to stay humble and take advice and listen. Fickle. Cool. But mate, seriously, you scare the hell out of me. And you're no different from a whole bunch of people I've met in business that slap things together, throw out an idea and oh, 
whole bunch of little investors get in and then their investment evaporates. Stay on the journey with your shareholders and not dump and run like I think you're planning and you're going to burn a whole bunch more people. It's not what I do. I'm out. Appreciate it. Anyway, good luck to you, Alex. Okay, Thanks, Alex. Alex. Much appreciate it. Right. I hope your investors get their money back. They will. That is a classic case of if it looks like a duck and it's quacking, it's a duck. <laughs> The business pitches that stand out for me are where the person conveys the message very clearly. So it's like making a speech. Tell them what you're going to say, say it, tell them what you said. It's the whole communication cycle. In fact, it's the sort of thing that would get you to vote for a politician. You know, you believe the story or you don't. It hangs together or it doesn't. And that's what a good pitch is about.